Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2018 Nissan Navara. It's a 2.3 DCI 190 Tecna manual gearbox with just 70,000 miles and full Nissan service history. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here with us in person. As I go around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dents. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres. We'll have a look in the back, then we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at the seats, the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you would like to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it where you need it to be. If you're looking to finance it, we'll go through an application with you, which takes about five minutes. We will ask you for a deposit usually to cover the VAT, as it is a VAT applicable vehicle. In some rare circumstances, you can look to borrow the VAT, but as I say, that will depend on you and your personal circumstances. Give us a call and ask us about it. It's also worth mentioning that once you've watched the video, if you think I've missed something, or if you'd like to see something a bit more detail, just ask, it's not a problem, there's nothing to hide. And at the end of the day, like get my words out, at the end of the day, you're gonna come here and look at it in person anyway. So we may as well show you absolutely everything before you set off. Right, let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. Um, hopefully you can see uh, from the image, it's in really, really nice, clean condition. Obviously eight, 2018, 70,000 miles, it's not done a great deal of work. Um, so there's nothing really to show you on the bonnet. It's in nice, clean condition. Obviously there's gonna be stone chips, but there's not many and there's nothing really to shout about. Probably the worst one is there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but as I say, there are a couple of very small ones on the body, but nothing serious. So, um, driver's side headlight and front bumper. Hopefully, again, as you can see, it's in nice, clean condition. A couple of stone chips, but nothing serious. Again, that's probably the worst one, which is a pinhead. And passenger side headlight. Passenger side front wings in nice, clean condition and there's no obvious marks or damage. Everything looks really nice and clean. Passenger side front wheel and tire, wheels in good condition. A couple of little scabby bits, but that is, as you can see, it's a laser edged wheel and they do lift. There's no damage as such, but it is lifting a little bit. Continental tire, I'd guess at probably five millimeters tread. Windscreen's in nice clean condition. As you can see, there's no stone chips or cracks. Let's go over the pillars. And as you can see, nice clean condition, no damage, no dints, everything looks really nice and clean. The roof's in nice clean condition as well. No issues that you can see. Passenger mirror, nice and clean, no damage. As is the mirror. Obviously these have got the cameras underneath for the 360 cameras. So before I go down the passenger side, I always like to have a look at this image, basically to look at the alignment of the gaps. As you can see, there's no misalignment Nothing looks out of place, everything looks spot on. Right, so let's go down the passenger side. And hopefully you can see from that there's no nasty marks or dents. Everything looks really nice and clean. The paint's in great condition as well. And hopefully you can see the side steps are in nice clean condition as well. Onto the rear quarter, again everything looks good. There's nothing looks out of place, everything looks nice and clean, and there's no nasty marks or damage. That's a bit of mock. Obviously, these have got two appearing fuel caps. One's the Ad Blue, which I think is this side. No, it's that side. Um, so it is a ULES vehicle or ultra low emission zone compliant. Rear wheel and tyre, passenger side, nice and clean, no damage. Continental tyre, matching tread, maybe a little bit less, four mil. It's got an aero class canopy, good quality canopy, work canopy, no windows on the side. And hopefully you can see it's in nice clean condition. I was gonna say it's free from damage, but one of the little badges is a little bit damaged there, so the A is missing. But other than that, it's nothing. We'll have a look in there in a second. Passenger side tail lights in nice clean condition. It's free from damage. There's no misting. No damage, everything looks spot on. Tailgate, 
is in nice clean condition and there's no obvious marks or damage everything looks really nice and clean on it worth noting no tow bar it's not done any lifting um obviously these will tow three and a half ton so you know they are good for it anyway but there's no tow bar so it's not done any heavy work which is always nice to know at the end of the day you've got parking sensors on the rear and also you've got your camera which i'll show you working when we get inside canopy pneumatics work fine popped up straight away on its own so in the back it's nice and clean as you can see it's not a hard life everything looks spot on it's in good condition inside as well right driver's side tail lights in nice clean condition it's free from damage there's no misting there's no stone chaps or cracks everything looks spot on rear quarter driver's side it's in nice clean condition free from damage can't see any marks on it all good driver's side rear wheel and tyre wheels in good condition there's no damage continental tyre matching tread depth opposite side good condition <clears throat> right let's go down the pillars first and again as you can see there's no damage everything looks nice and clean and the roof again is in good condition so again gaps look good there's no misalignment everything looks spot on nothing's out of place let's go down the driver's side and i can't see any dents or marks everything looks nice and clean it's a, a damn clean truck it's obviously been used as a car not as a truck which is always nice to see side steps are in good condition just saw a little mark somewhere there is that it i oh, know it's just a bit of muck driver's side mirror nice and clean no damage mirror's intact driver's side front wing is in nice clean condition there's sorry about that it just cut out so yeah front wind's in nice clean condition as you can see no damage no issues at all um being completely critical there's a tiny little mark there as i say that's it driver's side front wheel and tire wheels in good condition it's continental tire so it's a full set of continentals all around and it's matching to the opposite side right so on to the interior uh, now if i'm sure you're looking at these you probably know but it is keyless entry keyless go so as long as you've got your key in your pocket and your purse in your wallet you can press that button there and that will lock it and unlock it and once you've jumped in it will start for you as well um driver's side door cards in nice clean condition it's free from damage no issues even the the silver bar which you see sometimes worn in nice clean condition as well um electric windows times for door locks window lock electric folding mirrors and then also your electric mirror control there driver's seat is fully electric bolsters are really very nice and firm and very nice and clean as well seats in great condition it's a fully electric seat we'll go forwards backwards you can bring it up and down backrest will go forwards and backwards as well and also if you watch this part you can pump that up as well so if you suffer from a bad back or sciatica that will help as well which well, could help um driver controls stop start stability control parking sensors fuel cap and then just the normal stuff clock illumination etc uh right so start it up start straight away no issues at all um he says the engine lights popped up i don't know why it's probably because it's a bit cold we can get all that out anyway let's turn that down so um as you can see steering wheel's nice and clean it's free from damage there's no fading, there's no stitches out of place, just looks really nice and clean. Steering wheel controls, right hand side cruise control, lower part is voice command and also you can answer your phone and hang up from there as well. Uh, left hand side is basically your media centre, so uh, this part here will control, uh, so look, this screen here. And as you can see, you can go through there if you wish, and all you've got different warning lights and whatever else on there. And uh, then obviously, you uh, volume and you can skip and whatever else um, it's a six speed manual gearbox 
uh, Nissan say it'll do I think 45 to a gallon which is high um, obviously it's really good for a pickup truck I think realistically 40 ish it's going to depend on you and how you drive at the end of the day passenger seat bolsters are really nice and firm materials really nice and clean it's in fantastic condition it's in fantastic condition throughout really dashboard as you can see is in nice clean condition it's free from any damage got heated seats in the front switch them on keys two proper keys and three keys for the canopy let's look at that reversing camera as you can see you get your reversing image to the right and then obviously your 360 to your left what i quite like is i mean it's all right but it's a bit gimmicky um, but what I quite like is if you click on camera button, you get your left hand view, which is obviously, if you're on your own, you can't look down there. Um, I think that's quite a, a decent thing, to be honest with you. You know, you're reversing against the curb, you're not going to damage your wheels, you're not going to knock your kid over or something like that. The other thing is, well, once you've clicked on your camera button, if you're back in drive, then you can have your forward facing images. If you go park against the wall or something like that, obviously, it just gives you a little bit more comfort knowing you're not going to damage your vehicle. Media center. FM, AM, um, it's got FM, AM and DAB, pre-populated DAB list, I'm sure you know how that works. Obviously it's got NAV, um, also on there, once you've plugged your phone in you've got my apps, you can have Facebook, Google, amongst other many things. Um, switchable four-wheel drive, hill descent, and you'll see you can lock and unlock your vehicle from here. If you look a bit further down here you've got USB and your auxiliary as well. Armrest in nice clean condition, you've got your cup holders, everything looks spot on inside, smells nice inside as well, doesn't smell like it's been smoked in which is obviously good news for some people, I think that's some but, um, roof line is nice and clean, it's free from any damage, everything looks spot on, heated seats work as well, it's a bonus, uh, what else, nothing else really to show you I suppose inside, let's switch that off, let's have a quick look in the back, it's got over mats all around which is a nice option, if you want to go to work in it or whatever. In the back, again, door cards are in nice clean condition. One tiny little mark on that one there, you see. That's about it. Seats are in great condition. As I say, I don't think that passenger seat's been sat in. It doesn't look like it. It's in nice clean condition. And it's clean throughout. As I say, it's probably just been used by the director as a director's vehicle, like a company car. Claimed his tax back and his VAT back. Makes a lot of sense. Just pop the bonnet. Let's have a quick look in the passenger side. Door cards are in nice clean condition. See, as you can see, it's in fantastic condition. As I said, I don't think that's been sat in it. It feels like new, if it has, very rarely. can see everything looks spot on it smells nice inside as well like i say <coughs> let's have a quick look under the hood turn into an american for a second so obviously it's got full nissan service history it goes without saying it's been maintained really well um it's always nice to see when they've got uh, full history obviously with these they've got five years or a hundred thousand miles manufacturer's warranty when they're new so at 2018 and 70 odd thousand miles you know you've got plenty left which is always nice to see whoever's had this didn't know unfortunately they put a halford's battery on it if it had got the nissan battery still nissan would have actually covered that and put a new battery on it for them through the manufacturer's warranty it's one of those things you've got to know to know i suppose um but as you can see everything looks really nice and clean there's no signs of any historic oil leaks everything looks good belts are in great condition turbo unit looks nice and clean everything looks spot on fluids are clean and to the correct levels everything looks sound let's have a quick look underneath hopefully you're still with me and again you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks underneath chassis is in great condition as is the exhaust and you can see the rear diff's nice and clean as well spare wheel is a steel and it's got a continental tire and it's in great condition sound okay so hopefully i've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person and um, probably a little bit more i know we go on a little bit i'd rather go on too much and not show you enough 
Um, so thanks for watching and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's also worthwhile looking on the Facebook page as well. You'll always find different pictures of the vehicle on there as well. Right. So I'll end that there. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.